In this video, I want to go over a brand new sci-fi action game that will be coming to the PlayStation 5. Initially, it had been thought that it was only a PC and Xbox series title, but it will be coming to PS5 as well. Unfortunately, the PS5 version will be due out a little bit later. We'll talk about that. Also, Axis Games is looking to publish Rico London in North America, so that'll be coming to PS5, PS4, and a bunch of other platforms. Overcooked All You Can Eat is coming next month, and then also Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 gets a limited print physical edition. Pre-orders will be opening up February 26th. If you're the type of person that likes to pick up games that might be worth of something, this might be one of those games. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, Bright Memory Infinite gets some new trailers as well as screenshots. Well, it gets one new trailer and a bunch of screenshots as well. Now, Bright Memory is a game that I've been following for quite a while. I have Bright Memory, the initial game on PC, and I played quite a bit of it. It's a pretty interesting little title, a little bit rough around the edges, but it is being remade into an expanded version with Bright Memory memory infinite initially i believe they were gonna go for an episodic uh series but then they went back on that and they were like okay let's remake the game and let's do it as a uh, expanded version and that's what's bright uh, that's what bright memory infinite is gonna be we thought that it was going to be coming to PC and Xbox series, but the developer also did clarify that it would be coming out on PlayStation 5. Unfortunately, the PS5 version is due out on a later date. Uh, it'll be ported uh, to Xbox series first, and then the PlayStation 5 version will be happening sometime thereafter. It is scheduled to come 2021. I imagine the PS5 version, either the latter portion of this year or sometime in 2022. Now, if you're unaware of what this game is, I'll give you guys a rundown over on the official Steam page. It's got quite a bit of information. Bright Memory Infinite is an all-new lightning fast a fusion of the fps and action genres created by fyqd studio combine a wide variety of skills and abilities to unleash dazzling combos and attacks in my time with bright memory I definitely got the sense that technically it's a very, very impressive game. From a visual standpoint, looks excellent, very flashy. Um, at times, I thought the gameplay was a little bit rough around the edges, but Bright Memory was still like an initial concept, and then this, I'm sure, is going to be a little bit different and be a more refined. I'm sure that that's what we're going to get. By the way, Bright Memory is only 10 bucks on Steam. I imagine that when Infinite does launch, they'll up the price. However, that's just speculation on my part. But my experience with Bright Memory, I would have to say, was rather positive, and I had a good time playing the game, and definitely I saw the foundation for something that could be expanded into something incredibly compelling. Now, Bright Memory Infinite is set in a sprawling futuristic metropolis in the year 2036, a strange phenomenon for which scientists can find no explanation has occurred in the skies around the world. The Supernatural Science Research Organization has sent agents out to various regions to investigate this phenomenon. It is soon discovered that these strange occurrences are connected to an archaic mystery, and as of yet, yet known unknown history of two worlds about to come to light. If you're interested, if you have a decent PC, I would recommend checking out Bright Memory. Uh, it's $9.99 again, and if you do pick it up now, you will ultimately get a copy of Bright Memory Infinite as well, and that's again coming out sometime in 2021 for PC. And I think it's a game that a lot of you guys would end up enjoying. Again, very stylish from its combat, from the action gameplay, the FPS elements to it, the shooting, all of that is super slick and has a little bit of a Souls feel to it for sure with how the level design works and things of that nature, but definitely a game to keep on your radar. And again, I'm pretty sure some people are unaware that it will ultimately be coming out on the PlayStation 5, so definitely keep that on lock. Okay, next up, do want to note that Axis Games is looking to publish Rico London in North America. It's a cel-shaded first-person shooter developed by Ground Shatter, and Rico did release on PC back in March of 2019. Uh, right away, when you look at the game, when you look at the cel-shaded visuals what i think of if is 13 and the 13 remake now the 13 remake wasn't very good um maybe that's even putting it a little bit lightly but nevertheless hopefully rico london does fare a little bit differently it'll be available for playstation 5 xbox series playstation 4 xbox one nintendo switch and pc and the game noted by Axis Games, London, New Year's Eve, 1999, you are a cop tasked with neutralizing the notorious and violent gangs of the city, play solo or with a friend in cooperative mode, and move through a variety of procedurally generated levels to wipe out the gang threat that is increasing all over the capital. In an, o in an ode to retro arcade shooters, many of the levels are set in abandoned buildings such as derelict hospitals and office spaces in East London, most of which have been taken over by gangs. At the end of each level, players can upgrade their characters with a selection of random items 
items and further enhance your upgrades with effects to make them more effective. A global leaderboard and rewards will support the co-op features in the game. For this iteration, the developers focused on the aspects of gameplay that were more most popular in the original, resulting in more enemy variants and environmental scenes compared to the first game and hostage situations and new weapons have been added to ramp up the intensity. Now, the original Rico again came out March of 2019. Got a mixed reception on Steam, 260 user reviews, 68% positive. Personally, never had a chance to delve into this one myself, but I like the cell shaded look of the game. I played the 13 remake and I wasn't a big fan of that. And I would say most people aren't a big fan of that. If you want to look up that Steam reception, I think, uh, yeah. One of the more negative receptions I've seen on Steam, and just generally speaking, talking to people that have played the game. But yeah, that's a totally, entirely different game. Rico London should be out sometime in 2021, although no release has been specified at this stage of the game. Okay, what we do have a release for is Overcooked All You Can Eat. That'll be coming PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC on March 23rd. This came out on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series back in November of 2020, so now it is making the transition backwards to PS4, X1, Switch, and PC, so you can check that out. I know everybody's a big fan of Overcooked, not a franchise or a game that I got super, super into, but in terms of multiplayer components, I've heard just incredible things about Overcooked and how it's so much fun. Again, not one that I got super into, but nevertheless, it is nice that it'll be available to PlayStation 4, X1, and Switch players on March 23rd for $40. So there is that. Lastly, I do want to note, I've been talking a little bit more about games that have potential to go up in price and things of that nature. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 PS4 and Switch, a limited print physical edition pre-orders, will be opening up February 26th. Now, this is a limited run games pre-order. And this to me is something that could easily go up in price or be somewhat of a collectible just because Bloodstain itself is getting quite a bit of attention and even though this is a Curse of the Moon, it's still something I could see being quite a collectible and on top of the Standard Edition, a $59.99 Limited Classic Edition will also be available and I think this is the version that might be a little bit expensive. It includes a copy of the game Nintendo Entertainment System style box that fits the game case, 18 inch by 24 inch reversible poster, the official soundtrack and a retro style dust sleeve so take that for what you will again no promises when i talk about these games and whether or not they're going up in price but i could see this one being a bit of a collectible the lrg uh, team does a pretty good job of putting out a lot of quality games and kind of cool collectibles and things of that nature. I just got, I believe, the Yee's Origin limited edition from them, and uh, yeah, that was pretty nice. Just bear in mind that it does take a little bit while for them to process the order, and it takes a while for you to actually get the order. You kind of put your order in, and then it's a little bit of a waiting game at times, so just bear that in mind before you jump in and drop 60 bucks, but wanted to let you guys know about that. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but that's gonna wrap up this one. Again, keep your eye on Bright Memory Infinite I really think this is a game that could hit the mainstream, especially if the uh, Infinite version does hit a high quality level. I think a lot of people are going to be into that game. Rico London will be headed to PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 sometime in the future. Overcooked, all you can eat coming to PS4, X1, Switch, and PC on March 23rd. And Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. That is going to be on limited run games starting February 26th, open to pre-orders for four weeks. And again, could see it being somewhat of a collectible in the future. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.